<laughs> How's everybody doing? We're back. It's Friday. Vinyl Lounge is in the house. It is. We are. We are? Yeah. They are. We are. Yeah. And we're actually in the house. Yeah, we are. Because the lounge is the house. It sure is. Oh. <laughs> so, hey, welcome back. It's Friday. Very happy. Uh, it was a beautiful day today in Montreal. A lot of sunshine. We got a bit of Janice playing in the back, and uh, because it's International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day. Thank you. Happy yeah. International Women's Day, Phoebe. Kisses to all the women out there, because we love you yeah. very much. And without you, we'd be here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how it is. Um, we're having a little drink. Cheers to that. All the women, non-alcoholic, alcoholic. Yeah. Still doing it. Although Still. last night. Story time quickly. I ordered a Diet Coke. Well, I went to the bar, ordered a Diet Coke. She thought I said gin Diet Coke. So I'm like, I pay. Who and puts I, gin in Diet Coke? And I, so I pay, and, uh, and, I, and I'm like, what the day? That's an expensive Diet Coke. And I brought it over, and she went, oh, oh. And then she, for four or 15 minutes, she felt guilty, and uh, she barely had a sip. It was. It was counted as le less than a point five. I know, but when you're trying to not it's drink anything, it, you're it, like, damn it. I know, it's psychological. But I got over it. Anyway. Ah, she got over it very quickly, and we'll tell you why. But we're going to start today. We're going to be talking about a few shows we saw lately. Yep. Um, the first one was a week and a half ago at uh, Place Belle in Laval, and it was? City in Color, uh, Nathaniel Ratliff, and uh, what's her name? Is it there? Ratliff or Ratliff? I have no idea. Okay. Ratliff, Ratliff. Potato, potato, and Ruby Waters. Ruby Waters. So Ruby Waters was the opening act. Young uh, artist from the States, I yeah. think. I didn't really look her up, but it was really good. And yeah, they, she was good. She was cute. She was cute. and Played uh, guitar really well. Yeah. Good, good stage Did presence. she have like a Pantera? She did, yeah. <laughs> she had a Pantera hoodie. Cute little pleated skirt with yeah, the Yeah, like, with, like, with a little ink and all that. So it was yeah. really cool. Good stuff. Uh, they did the tour with them, so they're doing something, right? Yeah. And then it was Nathaniel. Um, that I had looked up before because I did not really know of him. I knew uh, one or two songs. I had never heard of him, to be fair. And uh, he was, he, listen, amazing show. That's all I got to say. I wasn't a fan, I won't lie. Olivia made me listen to him and I was like, meh. Yeah, she right. was blah because she, she was going there for the main act, which is a, a, a bunch of cute boys that sing. <laughs> that it's sing. irrelevant if they're cute yeah. or not. That's a lie. Anyways, so Nathaniel, you did an amazing job. The footsteps, the jams, yeah, the music, cool. the vibe. Cool you are one hell of a cool cat. And your story that I looked up, obviously, uh, checked out a few interviews with you and all that. Um, and I'm down. I'm all. I'm all in for that. Yeah, uh, he was cool. Very, very cool. Solid he's stage presence, huge, dancer. Yeah. Southern. I think he's a southern boy. Yeah, and he loves vinyl and that whole story is. He's and he's, cool. So he's coming back in Montreal and not too long. He's playing Saint Wilfrid Pelletier. Yep. Where the acoustics in Montreal are one of the best. Apparently, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, he's he's singing Leonard Cohen. So for those it's Leonard. The orchestra. Co hey, it's not with his band. No, I think yeah, exactly. It's gonna be the with night the night sweats. Yeah. The, uh, uh, there'll be no night sweats. No night sweats. It'll be with. So it'll be very intimate. Uh, very nice. We're not going, uh, but for the people that are going, or uh, well, you're gonna have a great time. He's Did it amazing. Sell out? I'm pretty sure it's sold out. I didn't look at it. The up. tickets weren't overly expensive. I think it was like eighty bucks for two. So it's not terrible. <laughs> uh, oh, Janice. Sorry. City in Color was. I, I don't even know how to put into words. What an experience! I've never seen them live. I've listened to live stuff from them, obviously, but to see and hear and take it in in person is something. Um, good Canadian boys. They were, uh, yeah. The, Listen, what, like, what do you, what's not to love? I wasn't a fan because I didn't really know of them, but the whole, uh, I'm not gonna say package, but it, I could say package, but the whole vibe, musically, looks, Live show, it's his voice. everything, and the story. And listen, I'm sold. I walked out of there a fan, and I, I and I and I started looking for vinyl. I found a few. I didn't go get them because they were at the end of the end. The, we'll the show end. them your Dallas Green tattoo you got on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sign my chest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I didn't do that. Didn't uh, you're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's almost bathing suit season. Yeah, yeah. So you'll see when it's time. It's, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but so no, that was amazing. That so was good. amazing. Amazing show overall. Plas Bell. Oh, it's uh, voice. I have goosebumps. There you like, go. Ah. So Plas, Ve Plas Bell. Always great seating. Great acoustics. Great venue. Loved it. Yeah. If you're in Montreal, check it out. I mean, a lot of people think it's not a great place to see a show, but yeah. why? But what do you say? I feel like it's just because it's Laval, like no, it's a suburb no. of Montreal. No, it's got its reputation. It's now. not a concert spot. It wasn't at first. It's where the Rockets play. Okay, um, but no, no, it's a concert spot. But now. I've seen two concerts there now, and we saw Tears for Fears there. Yeah, it was amazing. I, we've seen a lot of concerts at the Bell Center. Janice is going crazy. Janice there. is rocking out. Janice? We've seen a lot of concerts at the Bell Center, and it's obviously it's the Bell Center. It's Bell Center, great it's, acoustics. It's not the Olympic Stadium. Uh, it's a great place, but the uh, Plas Bell is smaller, more intimate, better acoustics. It's I just think simple. So. You don't have a bad seat at the Bell Center. Sometimes I find you can be up, and it's like yeah, but you, you, you don't go up because that after that you all you're always um, gonna stare at the screens, the big screens. Um, but if you're high up, you have no choice. That's all you can do. Yeah. So, uh, but the tickets are expensive sometimes for shows, so people take what they can get. Yeah, you. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, and yeah. then you can still see the man live. You hear him. Yeah, it's that, the it's, experience, it, right? You know, you, you close your eyes at concerts. Oh, I did. And soak it in. And uh, that's Just what makes Dallas. people happy. It was like he was singing right to me. <laughs> I think he was at one point, but you know, whatever. Right. He was. <laughs> He's cute. They're all cute. That bass man, I don't know what his name is. They long, cool hats long and... silver hair, man. And uh, listen, the whole look was great. So amazing. Okay, so that's one show. That was really cool. And then, so listen to this. This week on Monday, uh, there's, a, there's a sports station here called TSN 690 uh, that I listen to, uh, not religiously, but I listen to the morning oh, show. I like going to work. Uh, they're on when I'm driving to work. I work in construction, and then uh, and then in the afternoon when I leave uh, construction, or sometimes when I start my break, there's the Melnick in the afternoon show. Mitch Melnick, hey, stop it! Mitch Melnick. So Melnick in the afternoon. This guy is a Montreal. Can you go get your dog? It is is an icon. He is. Um, not only does he know about sports, but he music musically. His knowledge is absolutely incredible. And uh, he's a bit of a guru. Listen, I'm gonna say it, I'm a fan. He's a cool cat. Uh, so what happened is I, I went in for a break in the pickup on a construction site on Monday. And then I hear on the radio, I turn on the radio and I hear, we're giving away tickets for Casey Musgraves. I'm like, giving away tickets. I know who she is, more or less, but I, I, I don't know. I love her. I don't know, but I, I had heard the name and from her. So I just call in and, and all of a sudden I'm like, hey, uh, who's online? And I'm like, damn, I'm live. I got in, caught by surprise. First try. And it's Mitch Melnick and the crew. A a Andy wasn't there, um, it was John Still, and I forget who else was there. I think it was just John and, uh, and Mitch. So before I called in, they mentioned that if I didn't, if the person that called in didn't know the answer, they would find a question that would be easy enough to get the ticket. So that's why I called it. And that's actually, it down a <laughs> that's actually the first thing uh, I mentioned when, the, uh, when I got on the air because obviously I did not know she was on Saturday Night Live uh, two days earlier. I did not know who the host of Saturday Night Live was. She knew everything. Of course. And then I did not know who her favorite uh, artist was. That uh, I didn't know. So uh, that uh, filled the spectrum out in Montreal. Uh, a long time ago, and uh, so yeah, that whole story. I didn't know any of these uh, these um, these answers. So uh, they ended up asking me what nationality she is, and uh, insert I, eye roll here. <laughs> she's American. Ding 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 ding, ding 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 ding! And you are the winner of. And I won the tickets, and I got all excited. Even the co-host was like, "Really? That's the <laughs> really? question you're gonna ask him? Like, duh, she's American." <laughs> And then, and she knows because I, I went on the podcast after and I had her listen to this. Uh, because what happened after that is I had to say, um, you know, try to talk about the vinyl lounge. 
a little bit. So I said, shameless plug. <laughs> so, so, so I, I felt, I, I said, I, guys, I feel a bit guilty and a bit stupid because I'm that guy from the vinyl lounge. And then uh, uh, Mitch Melnick says, "Oh, are you serious? The guy with the beard?" And I'm like, "What? Hell yeah!" So I'm doing something right. The lounge is working. So we started talking. Mitch, uh, Mitch told me about a few experiences, um, musical experiences that he had, including one uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan show, sitting in front row center at the Forum back in the days. And he also told, told me about an artist that was coming to Montreal this week, which was last night, and his name was... Guy Davis. Guy Davis. He's really cool, honestly. He's so cool. Guy Davis, so I did not know, well I knew who he was, but I didn't know more than that once again. Because I, I don't know everything, and I don't, I'm not that encyclopedia, music encyclopedia. Like, men, like People think you are though, that's what's funny. Some people do, but I'm saying it, I'm going to repeat it. I'm learning as I go, very often. I know a lot, but I don't know enough. And I love learning alongside you guys, so all the posts that I do and all that. I put, I do my research and I learn stuff that's absolutely amazing about every single artist. There's so many artists, so many yeah. stories. Well, there's, yeah. So, I got those Casey uh, Musgrave tickets. She's super happy. We're so, going there in November. We got a Plas Bell. A, a Plas Bell. And then we, uh, um, Mitch told us to go check out this guy, Guy Davis, last this night. Guy. And we did. This guy's nominated twice for Grammys. And he's 70, what, one he's, years old? Uh, 72 years old, I think. He's such a. You know, Mitch Melnick's a cool cat. So is this guy. No, he is a slick Rick. He's a slick guy, Rick. David. A storyteller. Handsome. A hell of a funny, blues man. Uh, really His talented. humor. Uh, and uh, he's got an amazing... Uh, what's that movie that he... So I learned today I want... <laughs> you answer your own questions. Damn. He was, it was a DJ thing, no? Yeah, he was a DJ in a... Love Boat? Or? No, no. A rap, a, a hip-hop movie. 1984, uh, Beach Street, Beach Street. He was the DJ, that guy, uh, what was his name? Keith, I think. The year I was born. I 1984, she was born, I was already partying. So I remember this movie and I went to check it out and we're gonna watch it together. So he was one of the actors we in that. Are. So he was an actor before he became a musician. And then- He was um, in soap operas too, didn't they say? Soap operas, and he was, uh, so if you go, if you wanna listen to a, a, a bit of his story, you go on uh, Mitch Melnick's uh, podcast from yesterday on TSN 690 and the interview, he even brought his guitar over there and played. He's cool. He brought his guitar and jammed over there for the, for the crew. Uh, and uh, so we went there last night, had a great time, got to meet Mitch for the first time. And, and Gary. We met Gary, our fan came up to us and said... Okay, but wait, I'm talking about Mitch Melnick and Andy. Oh. They're the one, yeah, one second, Gary, you're coming after. So, <laughs> Mitch, Andy, it was a pleasure meeting you. An amazing ref, uh, reference, uh, not re referral, uh, suggestion. Concert suggestion. We stayed. We had an amazing time. Got home late, but it was all worth it. Thank you very much, Mr. Guy Davis. Who was opening for Guy Davis? Charles James Brown. No, no. Charles James Ch Brown. He's dead. Charles Keith. Keith. His Keith. name was Michael something. I Brown. Don't know. He's nominated for a Juno for uh, Blues Album of the he Year. He was good. I'm so sorry. I forget your name. He had it a was absolutely name. amazing. Michael. Michael J. MJB, I think. MJB. Michael. Michael. Anyways, so it was amazing. That was an amazing show last night. Mr. Brown Open, nominated for a Juno Blues Album of the Year. We'll know in a few weeks if he wins. And then nominated for Grammys twice, Mr. Guy Davis. And, uh, and yes, while we were there, um, a man came up to us when we were at the bar ordering. And he said, uh, he came out and said, uh, has it ever happened that uh, someone recognizes you guys? We, I, I, I said where? no. I, sa I said no. I said no, but uh, it's happened before, but not very often. But uh, he, uh, he's a follower of the Vinyl Lounge. Gary, yeah. Uh, Gar his name is Gary. With, uh, uh, Gary Peltier. And, yeah. uh, he's a super, uh, super cool cat. Super cool guy, loves music. He just came back from a musical cruise. A five day music cruise. And I just saw, I just saw uh, a post about that today. Stars and something. Yeah, it was crazy.
five days music, 24 and 24, on a cruise, yeah. on a ship. They went to Jamaica. <laughs> Damn, yeah. that is so cool. So we had an amazing night. Uh, we got recognized, uh, not only by Gary, but uh, a few days earlier by Mitch and the people. We won some great tickets for a show in November. We went to see an amazing show last night. and um, We're going to go see a show tonight. Oh, and we're going to go see... Jeff Smallwood. Jeff Smallwood. Studio 77. At Studio 77, which is our venue right here. Our we walk, favorite. We walk down to the village uh, on the water, and uh, it's going to be a solo jam. This guy's amazing. Jeff Smallwood's amazing. Jeff Smallwood is, local. Uh, is a local legend, a uh, great storyteller. A bit of the same vibe as Guy last night. He's funny. Yeah. I love him. So that's it. That's all we had to say. I want to wish you guys a happy weekend, happy Friday. We'll be back soon because I'm going to see, I, well, I've been seeing more of her lately. You know why? She moved in. Well, me, my kids. They all moved in. My dog. They're in the house, y'all. So we're a big family. But bigger means more love. So, hey, have a great weekend, Vital Lounge, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Ciao. Oh, fevers. That's right. Janice. Bye, Janice. Ladies, women around the world. Happy Women's Day. Enjoy. Oh, <laughs> she caught you. She got me. She caught you.